Happy Thanksgiving one, happy Thanksgiving all. Yes, the joyous circle clicks have begun. Hopefully you have enjoyed or are about to enjoy wonderful dinner with those you care about. And thank you for tuning in to watch Tessel. Or if you're watching this on a non-Thanksgiving day, I hope your Thanksgiving, your last Thanksgiving you had was great. And I hope your next one will be equally as good. So, prize chicken. Chicken with pants. So it's an old Sparksmith OTK deck with Gardener of Swords. Runs Corsair ship to give everything daggers. Where's Stolen Pants? There it is. Stolen Pants to give multiple things. The Cruel Fire Bloom to sack creatures with pants or to cook a chicken. If we cook a chicken, then we get villagers who all get daggers, who all give daggers to Gardener of Swords. And each dagger does one damage per spark smith on the board. <laughs> all that said, we have a backup plan of Dwemer as a backup win condition. So let's go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and take it casual because it is the end of the month and I don't want to mess that ladder rank up. Though I guess we could always grind down with Atromancer Swarm again. We'll see how it goes. What is to be better? To be born good or to overcome your evil nature? I think that's how the quote goes. I missed the last part of the quote. Log in each day to earn free daily rewards. The more days you log in, the better your rewards. That's a combo piece. That's something I don't mind soul splitting. Pitch both of those back and see if we can find more combo pieces. Dwarven Centurion is actually a combo piece because we can get zero cost creatures off of him. And we need zero cost creatures in order to continue the Sparksmith train. Sadly, this class has a fair bit of uh, support removal. This looks like it is support... Support Spell Sword. We're going to go ahead and deploy the Dwemer. So we've got Gardner. We've got Sparksmith. So we're, got, we're going good so far. We can do... Over 30 points of damage in a turn, but I do want to start getting him down a little lower. If I were to draw Stolen Pants, do I think I would go? And go would mean playing Gardener of Swords, Stolen Pants. I think I would. I feel a storm coming. Getting rid of the one one that could theoretically be summoned back. If we're able to keep this, then we're well on our way to getting prize chicken value. We just need to find a cruel fire bloom. The music's starting to pick up, and I can feel my heart just starting to pound harder and harder. At this point, we're looking for magicka. That's a problem. We're 
going to keep the zero cost in hand. I'd like to play this next turn. Question is whether he's going to go face. No, he's going to control us. That makes sense. I don't need the hulls, so losing that isn't the worst thing that could ever happen to us. That's pretty bad. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're a little bit off. I think what we're going to do next turn is we're going to play out Prize Chicken and That's probably negate something, something off the board. Pulls another forward encampment. No. Conjurer's Spirit. You already had triggered that, so now you're just looking for Drain. Do I get the zero costs? I do. We've got the Cruel Fire Bloom. That's good. <laughs> Next turn we go. The chicken is in the f shadow. Repeat, the chicken is in the shadow. Well, it's got fire. We'll call it the oven. The chicken's in the oven. Now we wait. Question is, is it enough? I'll do what I can. Fire. We don't have enough. We're just a tad shy. And that hit the one thing it wouldn't kill. That was a good turn though. Does he have lethal here? Four, nine, ten, eleven. He's two off lethal. Barring any actions, specifically removal. If we had pants, we would have won. That gets him lethal. But they threw away two damage. 10, 13, he still has it. We gotta get a prophecy and we didn't get one. GG. Uh, we got close. The chicken was in the oven and then we burnt it. We'll give it another go. Oh, I didn't realize I had a summon Dwemer quest. Oh, that's convenient. Meow? Why you meow at me? What are you meowing at me for, kitty kitty? He wants me to come play with him and chase him like we did in the video. Alright, scout. Don't be aggro, scout.
That's combo, that's control. So the Dwemer are here for control, as well as providing a target for their removal. As well as an alternate win condition with halls. Go ahead and put those over there. I don't want to use pants until I have a gardener. So he's ramping. Turn four, I do not want to play Sparksmith, and I won't. Gatekeeper, huh? Identify yourself. Unfortunate. Ew. That's a very ugly miss. Also, it looks like he's playing very high prophecy count if somehow that ended up in the deck. Alright, it was a gardener. Rise, my servant. Pulls back tree minder. I'd like to have a Corsair ship. I would desperately like a Corsair ship. <laughs> We're going to deploy the chicken anyway, because it gives me a target to put pants on next turn. Gone. That works. Go ahead and play those out since we're looking at using this as our win con. I don't think I'm going to need the Dwarven Spiders. It'd be helpful if he put a guard in this lane. Thank you. I need it to have a little more attack than that, though. So otherwise it survives the pants. Look at Cruel Firebloom, though. got three sets of pants in play. Problem is, whatever guard he puts down is likely going to go into shadow rather than field. Actually, I'm really glad he did that. 
Provided we can keep Gardner on board, that is a boon for us. Because now I can cycle this guy into here, which whoever gets the pants cycles in next. It's a prophecy. You have four sets of pants on you. Who goes there? Awaiting your command. Keep off the grass. Brahmin is worst case scenario. Hands get divvied out. So I'd like to get another gardener. We're going to negate that. Trade here, send three damage face, send eight damage face. There's a sparksmith. I am a mostly clothed warrior. I am a mostly clothed warrior. Feels like my work never ends. Separating it from the guys with pants. Again, Brahmin is terrible over here. For us, for him it's great. Also notable to say, the chicken did its job. And I am perfectly content with this video, giving that we got one really good chicken play. We didn't win, but that last game had a really good chicken play. Fresh start, all right. Nine Magicka. Brahmin is no longer an out. I guess it's an out for this turn because it deals with this, but it doesn't actually reduce its attack. So I'm still sitting with an 8-3 and a 4-4, four, four, and five damage over here. So if I find a way of sacking you, there's Chalman's Keep. I, am a mostly I don't want to play that. I am a mostly clothed warrior. Because it gives him a bunch of 1-1 one, one guards, it's meant to be played with Corsair Ship and Sparksmith in play. So your Shout Scout. There goes Bat number one. We have not seen any Soul Tears yet. I'm imagining we're going to see one here. It's just going to be a 2-2 two -two bat, which he plays and trades here, but then those two pants are divvied out. Oh, nope, Brahmin. I lied. We played out Sparksmiths. Sadly having issues closing this game out. There's the bat. He is not even halfway through his deck and he's gotten both Soul Tears and Brahmin. So it looks like we're getting high rolled today. Why would you play off that Necromancer? You don't need more Magicka. You need to pull this back once I trade with it. Chalman's Keep gives him three bodies, but gives me a bunch, but they don't, they're not buffed.
That's good, because it can shackle the drain next turn. It represents 8 damage. We've gotten two bats. Next thing you're going to tell me is you've got party snacks. We're threatening lethal next turn. Mushroom Tower is unfortunate for us. Meet your doom. Playing out that body to me allows me to threaten lethal and play across lanes in case he read Brahmins again. I realize we're we're risking a noodle, but again, we're still looking at a fair bit of damage. Soul split, not what I wanted. Let's save Soul Split for chicken if we find it. I smell the stench of the living. I feel a storm coming. That'll do. He heals for two, trades with our four two. We've got five damage on board. Do I need to trade with that? I don't think I do. Chicken deployed. Don't be fresh start. Alright, it's not fresh start. Now that don't be fresh start. The one card that could get him back in the game. The literal one card that could get him in the game. That's not true. Yeah, it is true because he couldn't play Party Snacks. Or Odevang. You're able to pull back two giant bats there. Looks like we're going to have to Chalman's Keep to keep ourselves alive. All three Soul Tears in the top half of his deck. Question is, does he send them both face? He'd be one off lethal, so he needs to trade, right? If we get a Spark Smith, do I need a Sparksmith and a Gardener? That's not happening. There's a Sparksmith.
I don't think I Sparksmith here. I think I just play this over here. And then battle Chalman's Keep. My reasoning is I'm going to get more Dwemer, and as much damage as that is, this is my last Sparksmith. He can trade, 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 and he's left with the two bats. Drain Vitality would have been the only real thing that wrecked us. Alright, we got a Dwarven Sphere. That 32 health is going to be difficult to come back from for us. It's not impossible. It's difficult, though. So I can lock that down. Well, we're going to play this out. Lock that down. Oh, we're losing the halls. There is a halls. Which is unfortunate because it's awkward. And there's Odevang. We can concede out of this now. Then we'll take it out for a game three. What is it? We've been at it it's 27 minutes. Oh boy, it's been a long time. Alright, game three. Come on, let me at him. We got a Dwemer quest done, though. Chicken with pants. Happy Thanksgiving. Pretty please, pretty please, pretty please. I'm staying hydrated. We have a cat. Oh, we do have a cat. I'll even turn cat cam on. And you say, there is no cat. I say, look higher. And behold, the Farkas comes into view with all of his magnificent robustness. But you see that belly, kids? That's why you don't chew cables, kids. You'll get a belly just like his. Alright, come on. You can't sit me in queue forever. We gotta get through this. Come on. Snap, snap, snap. Cheese for everyone. Scratch that. Cheese for no one. And I missed the back of the quote. Two creatures battle. They deal damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fabricants of Quadrock City are melded from both organic and mechan mechanical components. If you ever find yourself in Nishora, share a strawberry tort with Shiagora. Khajiit has wares if you have coin. There's a Khajiit. Wabajack's the most beloved toy of Shiagora, the Daedric Print of Madness. Come back every day for new guild quest and a minute and 25 seconds queue time. At the end of every era, Shiagora becomes Jigalag, the Daedric Print of Order. Actually, his true form. You can change your title on the profile screen. Strong decks usually include a mix of cheap and expensive cards and at least 30 creatures. And we're in queue against the lizard. Let's do this. Against AZZ, so a competitive team practicing their decks here in casual. Let's see what he's got. I'm imagining this is going to be something competitive, which means we probably lose. We're going to search for combo pieces. That is one. We just need to get it out and play. And dead so that we can get additional gearwork spiders later. Click all the things. And 
And we're going to start poking him. Apparently it's a competitive deck, but he's slow. But he's got a very greedy hand, is what he just told me, because otherwise that would not have been a turn two play. My Playing around some sort of item on that. My business is none of theirs. You go up to a 5-6, which isn't enough to trade. Still gotta take the bump. I don't mind if these creatures die. That's the thing. Although I do need one creature alive in order to play pants onto them. I keep a spare blade in my boot. Have business with House Halani. My business is not a bear. My guess is he's running Mentor's Ring. I'm just going to clear that off. And we, worth noting, we missed on our mechanical ally. Which is sad day. Five, six, seven. If I wait one turn, I can play all these on the same turn. Disable his card draw. Not that he threw away anything super important. Feels like my work never ends. I'm gonna hope he doesn't have removal for that. Though losing that is less bad than losing a gardener. We've got the pants deployed. Silence doesn't exist in these colors. What, do you have a lightning bolt for him and now you can't use it? No, you would have bolted, um... Well, maybe you didn't want to take the damage from Sparksmith? No. You did have a bolt. And you did want to use it. I am a mostly clothed warrior. I could use a little help. I am a mostly clothed warrior. I could use a little help. I am a mostly clothed warrior. I could use a little help here. Keep off the grass now. Alright, so we'll drop that as a guard. Prevent Viper or Charge Bat. Ow! Ice Storm just shut that down. This is the problem with competitive decks. They just beat meme decks.
I want to say this is Ring of Namira OTK. But I could be wrong. Because there's a lot of drain in here for it not to be a Ring of Namira deck. Alright, gets the shackle. Saves his drain. Plays drain, but I get a card from that. We're not going to give him any more cards while we're starting to dominate the board. We're using our backup win con. We pulled two dwarven spiders back to hand. We can drop him to 10. He has a moose that gets him one card. That's fine. He would have had a card and full magicka if I had gone face. So I'm okay with that. Pick up a Firebolt. Hand over the coin. Ice Storm Insurance. He reads the card. That's right. We got prize chicken here! Prize chicken ain't got time for your ice storms. I have many important things on my mind. Hand over the coin! Could have a Dawn's Wrath. So I'll remove Ancano. And if he trades, that means I get a card, which I'm okay with. I'd play a zero cost seven three, deal two damage to myself and draw a card. Alfie Conjurer. I'll negate past that. Then probably trade the two one into it. Never mind, that needs dead. That all needs dead. Hmm. Trade, trade, tap, kill, get everybody, negate, kill there, but then that's alive. Oh, that tells me we've got a gardener or a sparksmith on top or another negation. Yet if he looks to trade, we get a card. So we're just going to play it a little slow. Nice and delicate. Could have uh, another Corsair ship. That'd be kind of cool. It's a gardener. That's game. So there we've got it. Give him a good game. Exact lethal. Chicken did work. One of the angry villagers even lived to avenge him. Happy Thanksgiving one. Happy Thanksgiving all. Thank you to all three of my opponents. 
I enjoyed your lists. They were fun to play against. Ninjaro, I know you're working on recruiting for AZZ. I think it's Team Missouri. Two thumbs up for you guys building a competitive team in Tessel. I wish you guys the best of luck. But with that, get home to your families. And if you, if nothing else, get to your turkey. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy the company of those around you, be it online, in person. Best of vibes to you. And best of vibes to all your people. Unreal lol. We'll give him a GG and a shout out. Gummy here. Where is he? Always a good sport. He's a wonderful person. But we're going to go to ending. Thank you, Yorg. I got to read the names off here. Although I know most of them by heart, to be honest. Yorg, Uther, Neon. Thank you guys very much. All of you down there at the bedrock level. Uh, it is worth noting, our Tessel will be moving over to... I was mesmerized. Uh, I, I will be moving our Tessel over to Facebook. I hope to have more info for you guys by Monday, which will be our stream. I will have a video up with the details of why the move, as well as what we can expect for the future of the channel with the move. So, I said it already. Best of vibes to you. Goodbye.